Hi everyone, in this particular video, we are going to discuss about R and S configuration on Fisher projection. To determine the R and S configuration of the chiral carbon atom in a Fisher projection, we need first recall the concept of the Fisher projection. And that is, horizontal groups are pointing towards the viewer, that is verge, and the group uh, on the vertical axis are pointing away from the viewer, dash, even though all the bones are shown in plane line. There are certain rules to find out the Fisher projection. Here, the first rule that is, assign the priorities of the four groups. Second step that is, determine the direction of the arrow. Here, the first uh, step that is, assign the priority of the four groups, right? Here, to determine the priority of the atom or group bonded to the chiral center and label them as 1, 2, 3, and 4. The second step that is draw an arrow from 1 to 3 via 2. If the lowest priority of the group is on vertical line, here the lowest priority is pointing away from you, vertical position. If the lowest priority group is on vertical plane clockwise direction of an arrow r counterclockwise direction of the arrow s yes. if the lowest priority group is on vertical line clockwise direction of an arrow r configuration and counterclockwise direction of an arrow Yes, configuration. Counter, counter, clockwise direction. That is S. If the lowest priority group is on horizontal line, clockwise direction of an arrow, that is S configuration. Clockwise direction of an arrow that is S configuration and counterclockwise direction of an arrow that is R configuration. Here, the lowest priority is pointing towards U horizontal position. The result must be changed R to S or S to R. Here, if lowest priority group is on vertical line, the clockwise direction of an arrow that is R configuration and counterclockwise direction of an arrow that is S configuration. Here, if the lowest priority group is on horizontal line, the clockwise direction of an arrow that is S configuration and counterclockwise direction of an arrow that is R configuration. Now let's do some exercise. Suppose we have lactic acid represented by Fisher projection formula like this. We have to find out the absolute configuration. Lactic acid shown by the formula B. Here label the uh, groups based upon their priority. Therefore here the first priority, here the second priority and the third priority and the fourth priority. Draw an arrow 1 to 3 via 2. Since the fourth priority group on horizontal line and direction of arrow uh, is clockwise, therefore the configuration will be S. Similarly, if we have the projection of lactic acid shown by A, we have to find out the absolute configuration. Label the groups based upon their priorities. Therefore, here first priority. Second, third, and the fourth. Draw an arrow 1 to 3 via 2, like this. Since the fourth priority is on horizontal line and the direction of arrow is counterclockwise, so the configuration will be R. This is R configuration. 